Okay, so if this is the first time that you open a programming language, this is what you're probably going to see. Now, I'm using the text editor called Atom. You're probably using the idle, the Python idle, or another text editor like Sublime Text 3, or you're using an IDE like PyCharm. That doesn't mean that you can't follow this course, this beginner course, of course you can, it's the same thing. Um, so, if this is the first time that you open a programming language, first of all, welcome, because you have a whole new world to explore. And you know that I'm going to teach you Python, and Python actually is one of the easiest programming languages out there that you can do lots and lots of things with it. For example, with Python you can do things with machine learning, AI, and all that good stuff. Now, this video is going to be kind of small because I'm going to teach you the first thing that every programmer should know. Uh, so what we are going to do is we're going to print something in the screen. So we're gonna make the computer print something in the screen. This is really really cool because you can do actually lots of things with printing. Now you can see that in Atom if I press F5 you can see this thing here. Here is where the output of my code comes into place. So whatever we do is going to show up here. Okay, so let's print something in the screen. To do that we need to actually do what we said. We need to print all right, open parentheses, and you need to know that wherever you find parentheses, you can every single time put something on them. You're gonna understand as the tutorials go on. But after the parentheses, you're going to need to put a double quotation marks like that. And here you can write what you want to print in the screen. So in my case, let's say hello world. All right. That's really, really cool because you're going to see that when I run the program, we get hello world. That's something really cool that every single programmer needs to know. So you can write whatever you want here. You can even write something that it's not a word like that. And when you run the program, you can see that it pops up right here. Of course, you can write a number. Uh, you can write uh, a letter in caps like that so okay you can see here but anyways that's it for the first beginner video and I will see you all guys in the next one goodbye